never use a literal word. These guys need to be able to ferret around in there. And say it's... Extracted. Yeah. Extracted. Talking about charming atmospheric peasants is sort of the wine writer's stock and trade. You want to go to college, you get it off the table. And you start taking it off. Lift off. Would you take us through the proper snobby way of opening a bottle for sure, those at home who would like to impress, oppress their guests uh, First of all, the house table? Let's start with this. You want some street cred in the world of wine, you want to work with this kind of wine opener. Not the rabbit thing with the this, you know, mm -hmm. that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Not the one that your dad has where the wings come up on the side and then you go like that. Those are all markers. They're all going to send a message to your guests that you are kind of a hack. Again, that's this the is, civilian perception of wine snobbery, but the real wine snob... The real wine snob is working with the professional tool. This is the white, the waiter's corkscrew, okay? okay. So someone who's kind of handy with a... I like the two prong because you can, yeah, some of the longer corks can give you some issues. And longer corks are very important to snobs, are they not? Long corks, like long anything, has a certain significance. You know, one of the things that people want to do when they open a bottle of wine is this thing is like all, the, the capsule is, is such a terrible um, trouble for them, which I don't understand. People don't embrace the knife. This is another reason why, mm. because it's so sloppy looking. People will stick their corks through here and then pull the foil out and mess it all up and it, it, they'll just put the corkscrew right through the foil and not properly cut it looks the foil. Like a Chinese popper right. Yeah, it's, it's like, you know, yeah. all messy. You don't want that. You want a nice clean edge. So you come right around the right around here, okay? Right around this rim. Right around this rim and just twist it. Flip it right off. See? Lovely. That's clean. Lovely. Well, wouldn't, wouldn't it be even better if it were just a screw cap or is that not snobby enough? Screw cap is eventually going to be snobby. In, now, fact, in fact, in the book we have um, the Stelv enclosure, which is, you know, the oblique way of saying a screw cap. It is evolving into, uh, you know, the snob choice. Again, a counterintuitive thing, yeah. you know, but is now among wine snobs that you've got to know that, oh, the Stelv enclosure is the way to go because then you don't have to worry about cork taint and, you know, and, and spending all that money on bottles that you can't serve. The cork thing is always interesting because the, my default move when I open the bottle is right to the nose. And everyone will say, well, when you're in a restaurant and they present you with the cork, it is sort of a useless ri a ritual in the, in the restaurant because if the wine's corked, you can smell it in the wine, even if you do smell it in the cork as well. It's sort of an un... It's not that smelling the cork is wrong. When they present you the cork, traditionally, you would always thought to smell it because if it were... If it were tainted, then you'd be able to smell it. Mm -hmm. But the advice that you always hear when you read, you know, how-to type wine uh, texts is don't smell the cork in the restaurant. That's embarrassing. Just smell the wine. Because right. it's almost as if you're making an extra step, if you will. If the wine's cork, you'll smell it, in the, smell wine. it in the wine. However, the, the, the wine geek, the, the, the real wine geek, it's like a, any, any wine maker that you see open a bottle, that cork's going right to his nose. It's just a reflex that is in their... In their DNA. And so that kind of thing, is that sort of knowing appraisal of the cork is a nice little touch if you want to try to So, so if I'm trying to impress you mm -hmm. in the restaurant? Well, we wouldn't present, nobody presents corks anymore. It's sort right, of no, it does still out. happen. Yeah. I've, seen, I've seen it happen. I mean, it's, 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 pretty out, it's pretty out, <laughs> <laughs> it's, pre, it's pretty outmoded. I mean, it's because it's just, it's kind of an unnecessary step. So most restaurants, except for those fine establishments upstate that you mm -hmm. mentioned, uh, have phased it out. But the actual act of doing it is still very much, especially the winemaker. The winemaker is obsessed with, they look at them, they turn them over, they touch them, they okay, feel I, them, not, enough. and so forth. The cork. This is yes. a, you know, a piece I mean, of we're tree bark. Okay. Yeah. Sorry.